Want to make a podcast? Spotify's got a platform that lets you make one super easily, then distribute it everywhere and even earn money. All in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start creating today. Then, you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify, and when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are the best way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's totally free with no catch. Ever since I discovered Spotify for Podcasters, my dream of creating a podcast was made easy. I highly recommend you give it a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started today. Happy New Year, you guys, and welcome back to my podcast. Today is January 1st, as I'm recording this, and it's been a long time since I last recorded an episode. And this always happens. I'll get in the groove of like getting super good at recording and I'll do like three weeks in a row. And then I just simply will not post the next week and then weeks will go by and I get unmotivated, don't know what to talk about. But here we are. It's the first day of the new year and I'm feeling extra inspired to get this podcast to be consistent and regular because I know you guys love it and I get so much positive feedback on it and I really want to keep like posting consistent content for you guys because I enjoy recording. I mean, it's super fun. Just sometimes I find it hard to think of ideas of what to post, but I'm going to get better at it, I promise, and I really want to make it consistent for this year. But let's just talk about the past few weeks. So I got COVID for Christmas. I didn't even feel sick. I mean, I had a headache like two days, but I feel like I have more of the like after effects now. Like, I'm already so out of breath right now from just talking fast, but, and then I, like, developed a cough, like, yesterday, but I literally had COVID, like, a week and a half ago, but I'm fine. I didn't even get sick, so I'm grateful for that, and no one else in my family got it, just all my friends have it now, but I didn't even see them, so I didn't give it to them, but anyways, goals for this year, this is going to be a really big crazy year. Actually, before we get into that, let's talk about last year. So 2021 definitely was the biggest year for proving to myself that you can literally have anything you want and you can create the life of your dreams. I remember last year, New Year's Eve, I read Russ's book. I forget what it's called, but it's like the yellow book. And that inspired me last year on New Year's Eve to really sit down and figure out what I wanted the new year to become, as in for 2021. And let me just say, I really proved to myself that I was capable of achieving every goal that I set. I mean, I set some very unrealistic goals, but I'm a firm believer that if you set unrealistic goals, you are setting yourself up for success. Because if you just set realistic goals once you achieve them you kind of like it's a good feeling but like you need to prove to yourself that you are capable of so much more than what society says is realistic because anything could happen at any moment and miracles are so real and so possible and no one says or nothing says that you can't achieve something that is so unrealistic I mean, some of the goals that I set were extremely large and huge, but I did achieve them on a scale that was larger than realistic, not as close to as large as I set them, but I really proved to myself that miracles are real. So I'll start out with, I set goals at the beginning of 2021 to really expand my social media and my dream and goal has always been to make a living off of doing social media and make that career, make that my job. And that didn't that wasn't happening at the beginning of 2021. I was not making money, I was not gaining followers. I was just posting and doing my thing. But January I think it was January 24th, or it was like January 23rd. It was late January. 
I gained 20,000 followers on TikTok overnight. Like, literally overnight. And I remember waking up and being like, oh my gosh, I did it. So, starting January 1st last year, every day when I would wake up, I started waking up early. That's when kind of my early wake up started. I used to, I mean, I never slept in, but I used to always wake up at a decent time. But that's when I really got disciplined to wake up early. So, last January, I would wake up every morning. I think I would wake up at 6, 6 or 6.30. It wasn't com- crazy early compared to how I do now, but I would wake up 6 or 6.30 I would, this was when I was at my old apartment building in Hawaii, I would go up to the roof, get some sun, I would stretch, do some yoga, and I would journal. And when I would journal, I would write down my affirmations. And my affirmations were, my TikTok blew up, I am so happy and successful. They were just all different kinds of stuff like that. Like speaking into existence, that I was living the life of my dreams, making TikToks, making money off of it. And that I blew up and that I was inspiring millions of people. I was helping millions of people, all that kind of stuff. So I was doing that consistently for about three weeks. And on the third week, I blew up. Now, I honestly, I have to say, like, I believed in it, but there's always that doubt that tells you it's not going to happen. But I feel like once you fully let go of the worry and fear that's when it's going to come to you. And I don't know what it was in my brain that made that switch, but there was just that day, that one instant where it just switched and I was like, this is going to happen. And I just really fully believed it. And once I let go, it happened. Like it came to me, it happened. And I'm so grateful for everyone that found me at the beginning of last year and has been along this journey with me and I get so many messages about people saying that like they're so proud of how far I've come and I'm so grateful for all of you for sticking by my side and rooting for me and finding my account and following me and I'm just so so grateful for it so that was last January and then I continued to like blow up on TikTok and now I sit at almost 50,000 followers on TikTok And I'm so grateful for everyone. And I just really, like, my whole goal is to just inspire people that they can do whatever they want and that you don't have to listen to anyone's opinion. Or anyone who tells you no, you need to prove them wrong. Because you can prove them wrong and you have the power to prove them wrong. Last February, another spontaneous goal slash idea came to mind. And I had the idea that I wanted to kind of create my own business. So I created tote bags, angel number tote bags, and started that journey. And it has been so fun. And I love creating them. And I love like shipping them out to people and just knowing the fact that someone out there is using a tote bag with an angel number on it that I created that is sustainably made. Like, that's just amazing. Because now think about it. Anytime someone's out using that tote bag, another person will see it. And they'll see that angel number and maybe that's their sign from the universe. Because when I'm out and I see like the number 222 or 111, I'm like, oh wow, that's my sign from the universe today that everything's going to be okay, that everything's coming to me. So just knowing that I can put something out there that could then inspire someone else is just amazing. And definitely one of my goals for this year coming up is to expand my business and make it bigger and get more like bags with numbers more inventory and I just really want to get it out to more people and I want more people to find them because I think that it's such a good product because it's inspiring you can use it every day and it has such deep special meaning and I just know that there's so many people out there that would love it if they knew about it so that's one of my huge goals for this year is to really expand it and make it more known and get it out to more people But yeah, another huge goal that I have for this year coming up is to just keep going on my fitness journey. I started last January. I mean, I've always like gone to the gym maybe like once a month, but I never really like lifted consistently. I would just like go here and there, like do whatever. Like I didn't know what I was doing. I really, I didn't even know what I was doing until like this past July. Like I still went to the gym like 
all the beginning of last year, but it wasn't consistent. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I was just going to go. But anyways, June slash July, like, I really started to get serious about it because I started going to the gym with one of my best friends. And she really showed me a lot, inspired me. And that really got me into it. And I'm so grateful that I started going to the gym because now I don't know what I'd do without it. Because going to the gym and, like, lifting every day, I don't know how to explain it. There's just, like, something about it that, like, gets you so disciplined. It gets you so motivated. Like, it just sets you up for a successful day. And, like, me personally, like, you guys know I love waking up early. So I wake up early. I go to the gym. And then I just feel so ready and inspired for the day. It's just the best feeling ever. So my goal for this year is obviously to continue on that journey and maybe make something out of it as well. Like I have my fitness account, it's called Julia's Vegan Gains on Instagram and I post like meals on there and I post workouts and I really also, I want to expand that and I want to like help other people to get to the gym and start lifting because I know that there's also so many people out there that would absolutely love it if they started. So I want to expand that and we'll see what happens with that but that's definitely a goal expanding my tote bags is a goal and other than that just inspiring even more people because that's what keeps me going and that's what makes me happy is getting all the messages from you guys saying like how much I've helped you or how much I've inspired you and that's what makes my day every day so I'm so happy and grateful for that and for all of you But this year, I want all of you to get disciplined and start achieving your goals because you don't even have to like jump in at once. You don't have to get to it right today. All you have to do is do one simple tiny thing each day and you will have improved by the end of the year. All you have to do, one tiny little thing, like maybe one of your goals is to do better in school. Maybe today you read for five minutes. I guarantee you that if you read five minutes every day, that's going to be a lot more reading than if you didn't do any reading any day. And that's going to help you improve in school. Like I'm just telling you right now, the littlest efforts and the littlest things make such the difference because they add up. Think about this. If you go buy a coffee every day, by the end of the year, you end up spending a lot of money on coffee. So now just think of that in terms of doing one little thing each day to get you closer to your goals it adds up so fast just like that as well so I know you guys can do it and I really want you to prove to yourself like you don't even have to uh, go after and try to achieve goals to prove it to other people you need to prove to yourself that you are capable of everything and anything because you are And I know that you are, and I know that deep down, you know that you are too. Even through all that doubt, you know that you can achieve it. Now we can kind of talk about maybe some advice that I have for you guys on how to stay disciplined to achieving your goals. So you're going to have days where you don't want to do anything. You're going to have days where you question your goals. You're going to have days where you don't even know what you want to do with your life anymore. You're going to have days where you think you hate what you're doing, but that's just your mind playing tricks on you. So I think my first piece of advice is to find what you love because you know what you love to do. And when your mind tries to trick you and tell you that you don't love doing that thing, you need to think on why your mind is telling you that. For example, my like love for things is filming, recording, like making videos, editing, all that kind of stuff. Now, sometimes my mind likes to trick me and tell me that I don't like doing those things or I'll get super unmotivated and I won't do it for a super long time. And when I'm not doing that, I am not happy. And I think my mind tries to trick me and tell me that I'm not happy because I'm doing it. So it tries to trick me and tell me, don't, I don't want to do this anymore. Don't do it. Like, don't film. Like, it doesn't make you happy. But that's not true. I think it comes from, like, an underlying fear or anxiety of the fact of, like, it's not good enough or, like, people won't like it. But at the end of the day, you need to make stuff for you. 
like this is just in my situation I mean maybe you love editing and doing video and all that kind of stuff too but your mind is going to trick you and tell you that the things you think you love to do aren't the things you love to do and when that happens you need to sit back you need to think of why your mind is trying to convince you otherwise and you need to just do the thing that you know you I'm sorry you need to do the thing that you know you love to do even on the days where you don't feel motivated just do one little thing maybe I'm not feeling inspired to record that day so maybe I just go out with my camera and take a couple pictures I don't need to video I don't need to take videos of myself talking maybe I just go out and take a couple pictures because you need to keep that creative part of you alive and once you do that the love for it and the motivation will come back. Or maybe you take a couple days break, but after those couple days, you need to make sure that you get yourself disciplined to get back on track because you cannot take too long of a break that you lose track of it and get unmotivated because trust me, that has happened to me way too many times where I've stopped doing it for a week and then after that week, you really don't want to go back to doing it. Even though you know that deep in your heart that going back and doing that thing is actually going to make you happier and actually increase your mood. And I have to thank one of my very, very best friends for telling me this and reminding me of it all the time is that whenever I'm feeling unmotivated or don't or am not recording, he always, 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 always encourages me to pick up my camera and do something or pick up my computer and edit one tiny thing. And that helps. It really does. Because if you have someone reminding you of how happy something makes you and reminding you how much you love something it makes you think back and be like wow like they're right like this actually is what I need to be doing so that's my first piece of advice is you know what you love to do and when you lose track of that you need to think of why and you need to really get disciplined take the time off that you need and then get back to it and it will really make you feel happy Second piece of advice is I would recommend like setting up some sort of routine, but at the same time, living the same day over and over again is not what I mean. Because living the same day over and over again is programming into your subconscious mind that change can't happen, and that's programming into your subconscious mind to not plan for miracles. So now, for example, when you live the same day over and over again, you know what to expect. You know what's going to happen. But when you have a sort of stable routine, but at the same time, every day you wake up and you plan for a miracle, you're always expecting something new, exciting, and better to happen for you. So let's give an example. You wake up. It's a Monday morning. Your typical routine is wake up early, go to the gym, go to school, like go to work maybe, make dinner, go to bed. That's a good disciplined routine. But now, you have to let go of control. You have to not worry about if something doesn't go the right way. But also, every day, you need to wake up and plan for a miracle. That's the key. Plan for a miracle. Because every day when you wake up is a new chance for a miracle to happen. And anything could happen that day. So an example of setting a routine and getting disciplined, I would say, is maybe your goal is to wake up earlier each day. So make that your routine. Make your routine waking up early each day and then just let your day flow as it flows. Maybe one day you aren't feeling it and you need a little more sleep. That's okay, but make sure the next day you're up early. I was reading the book Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins and he was talking about how he stays disciplined and he said that every morning when your alarm clock goes off, whether it's 4.30, 7, 8, whatever time it is. If you don't get up at that first ring when that alarm clock goes off, you already were defeated by yourself that day. You need to wake up. As soon as that first ring goes off, you need to get up. No excuses. I don't care how warm the blankets are. You need to get up. And that's what I remind myself each day when the alarm goes off. And that's what really also inspired me to just do it and get up so that's my secret of how I wake up early in case anyone was ever wondering I mean I naturally wake up early but like to wake up at 4 a.m I was even waking up at 3 30 a.m for like a two solid weeks straight because I loved going to the gym when it was completely dead so I was waking up at 3 30 and that takes some hard discipline because 
no one wakes up naturally at 3 a.m. 3.30, 3.30, I'm sorry. No one wakes up naturally at 3.30 a.m. ready to tackle the day. Like, I was a zombie, trust me. But as soon as that alarm goes off, I got up. Because you need to defeat yourself first thing in the morning. You already won. You already had a win, and that sets you up for the rest of the day to keep winning. So maybe your goal isn't to wake up early, but maybe your goal is to get to bed at a decent time. Discipline yourself. You go to bed, no phone, no excuses. You need to win. You need to get to sleep early. Make sure you're getting enough sleep so you can wake up the next day and get after it and achieve your goals. So I think that's going to be all for today's episode, but I really hope that this helped you guys and get inspired and I really want you to get set and get ready on your goals for this year write them down that's the most important thing I always write them down in my notes app and then that way at the end of the year you go back and you look at them and you see what you're able to accomplish and remember don't worry about going after everything at once just tackle one little thing time at a time again oh my gosh tackle one little thing like each day Do the smallest thing each day too. Maybe some days you're feeling extra inspired so you do a lot. I know that happens to me. Some days I'll like go crazy and do so much and then others I won't do anything. But remember to stay disciplined, stay motivated as hard as hard as it is, I know, but you can do it and don't give up on yourself because you can make every dream come true. So I hope you guys have an amazing year. I know you can do it and... I want to hear your goals. So if you listen to this podcast episode and you made it all the way to this point, DM me, tell me your goals, and I will respond with something super inspirational to remind and inspire you to keep going and that it's possible. So have an amazing year. I love you all and thank you so much for your never ending love and support. And I will see you guys next week. I promise. I promise, promise, promise. I'll see you next week for a new episode.